It's time now for a look at the latest business news and a potential move by the US that sent oil prices tumbling. Our business editor Stephen Carroll is here in studio with the latest on that. Sharon Joe Biden's due to make a statement later on what's being described as action to reduce the impact of Putin's price hike on energy prices. The White House is expected to announce another major release of oil from the US strategic reserves. Now, according to reports, it could be the biggest ever use of this stockpile, which Washington holds, to maintain supply in case imports dry up. Oil prices have jumped since Russia invaded Ukraine, pushing up fuel prices at the pump. America's Strategic Petroleum Reserve currently has just over 568 million barrels of oil in stock. Just a few weeks ago, President Biden announced that he would release, as part of a coordinated international effort, 30 million barrels of that. Officials say this time are said this time to be mulling a much bigger release of oil. The maximum this reserve can add is 4.4 million barrels a day. Reports say the White House is looking to release around a million barrels a day. and We'll get details of that later on. I'll leave it ahead of the details of that announcement. We're already seeing an effect on oil markets. The international benchmark Brent crude and WTI both trading down uh, significantly today. Both are several dollars lower than they were uh, this time yesterday. You can see both of those uh, key oil indexes down between 4 and 5, 4.7% there. Well, the rising cost of energy is one of the main factors pushing up inflation. New figures here in France show that consumer prices rose by 5.1%. In March. That's according to the EU standard calculation. It's higher than had been expected. These figures coming on the back of the price hikes that we've seen uh, in Germany 7.3% inflation there and 9.8% from Spain too. Let's take a look at the stock markets for you next. We've just got small gains at the open on European markets after a volatile few weeks on the markets. Uh, oil companies are among those seeing falls in trading today, but just small gains across London, Paris, and Frankfurt. Asian shares trading a little bit softer. That's mostly after gains, though, earlier this week uh, in Tokyo, the Nikkei down by around uh, seven tenths of one percent. The Kospi in Seoul, the only market there seeing gains. Well, a new economic forecast is giving us an idea of how badly the economies of Ukraine and Russia are being hit by the war. The European Bank for, Re for Reconstruction and Development says that Ukraine's economy will shrink by a fifth this year. Russia's by a tenth. Both of those economies had been forecast to grow before the invasion. The EBRD says that if a ceasefire is brokered in the coming months with reconstruction efforts, the Ukrainian economy could rebound by 23% next year. For Russia, though, in that scenario, the bank expecting zero growth because of the impact of sanctions. Well, next to another consequence of the conflict in Ukraine, the skyrocketing price of sunflower oil. Ukraine is the world's number one producer and the war is threatening supplies. Now, you can still find Sunflower oil in most supermarkets here in France, but many fear a shortage in the coming months. Monty Francis has the story. Together, Ukraine and Russia produce 80% of the world's sunflower oil. It could soon be in short supply. I have a mother who lived through the war, and she said, oh, this doesn't seem good. So I stocked up with 10 litres of sunflower oil. There's no apparent shortage yet in French grocery stores, but some wholesalers are limiting how much restaurants can buy, and that includes products made with sunflower oil. Mayonnaise also, because we have a limit of 10 kilograms of mayonnaise in one day per customer. There are other kinds of oil, and they are in good supply. But for this restaurant owner, nothing but sunflower oil will do to fill his fryers. He's stocking up. We have fear of a shortage, and that could be complicated for us in the weeks and months to come, I think. With no clear end in sight to the Ukrainian war, the price of sunflower oil could reach historic levels. For the harvest of sunflower seeds in 2021, traders were getting 550 to 600 euros per tonne. Now we're already talking about 750 to 800 per tonne. So that means a minimum increase of 50% for the price of sunflower oil. Experts say growing more sunflowers in other parts of the world is not an easy or fast solution. The sunflower growing season peaks in May, but the seeds can't be harvested until September or October. And Sharon, that's it. My last business bulletin in this programme. Just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone. And Stephen, just before you go, I think we can show some of your best bits. It's a really sad day for us here, particularly on the, mat the morning team. You've been with us for nearly 10 years. Let's have a look at some of Stephen's best bits.
We're just going to just find this money down the back of the sofa yes, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and hope for the best. This is a journey that began for Ireland more than 30 years ago. France 24, Liberté, Égalité, Actualité. They'll have more opportunity to do that between now and Saturday as the World Economic Forum continues. Never really kiss the cheek. Because that's awful. It's gross. And even a curtain to keep out any light. Thank you to our producer, Farah Boucherak, and all the technical... Hooray, this ended really well. The end. Goodbye. I'm leaving now. Sadly, it is the end for Stephen. You will be back briefly a little bit later on today. Really, it's terrible to see how much I've aged from those <laughs> pictures either, though. It's That's been a long start. time, Stephen. Ten oh, years. Thank you so much for everything. All the team, it's been a pleasure. The irreplaceable Stephen Carroll, our soon-to-be-departing business editor at France 24. Thanks, Stephen. Well, turning now to the press review.